is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and welcome back to Off the Board. So today is day 22, and I am using some bubble wrap. So I have done this before. I've done it with paint. Um, I'm not sure if I've done it with ink, but I thought I would play with these Vicky Booten watercolor pens again because I love them um and I want to say Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life has done this technique with these as well so um the pen just says cover bubble wrap cover in bubble wrap whatever so you could use anything um I just chose to pick a couple colors uh, that kind of matched the balloons in my photo, and I'm just coloring. <laughs> um, right now I'm trying to figure out, I do want the whole band to go across um, my paper, so I do need two little pieces of this bubble wrap. This bubble wrap actually is what my Bramble Fox goodies came in, so... <laughs> Um, they were perfect. They were like just the right size. I thought that I had like a big huge roll of it and I have no idea where it went. Like I was going to do this uh, video earlier this month but I didn't have any bubble wrap so I was just kind of waiting. So after I covered it I just basically put my paper right on it. Um, and then I decided that one was a little bright, so I was going to try it again. So I just wet it with water a little bit. And then, um, oh, <laughs> so I actually ended up making two backgrounds. I don't use this one that you're seeing right now, but I kind of did two layers of it. So now I have like a bubble wrap mixed media background ready to go for whenever I want. So that's kind of fun. I like them both, but I did want it a little more subtle. Um, and those those markers are just so vibrant. So that that's why I did, I guess you would call it like a second generation. So I am using It's All Good collection from Dear Lizzie, and I pulled this ticket paper out that has pretty much the same colors as the balloons and I'm going to use that for my background. I go ahead and cut down my white piece of paper and I distress just two of the edges, um, just the top and the bottom. And then I did this little tear um, in, in the bottom. And then I went through the 6x8 pad and pulled out some papers to back my photo. I knew I wanted to use that balloon paper. I'm like, that's so perfect. Um, and I could have used the balloon paper for the background too, but I'm not sure that I saw it in the 12x12 pad. So I was super excited when I was flipping through to see this. So it's a little bit of a chunkier mat because um, I definitely want you to be able to see that they are balloons. And then my brand new tape runner there totally broke. I don't know how to get it back on. So I actually end up throwing it away. I pull the tape out and put it in another one and throw the outside away. I mean, I can't complain too much. They're like $2. So, um, so I have just backed my photo with a couple of the papers and then I am going to work on some embellishing. So I pull out the chipboard thickers and this one says Peachy Keen and I thought oh, that's a good title. Like I don't usually take selfies or really I'm not a ton in pictures in general um, but this was creativation and I don't know I guess I was just feeling it. So um, this was at the Dear Lizzie booth, and so another reason that I'm kind of using Dear Lizzie things. I'm not, I'm not so sure that I actually, I'm not sure that I actually thought about that. Anyway, 
So I just add a few pieces of ephemera. I'm having an issue with adhesive, like my glue is not coming out. Yeah, so I am just gonna glue everything down, um, some with tape runner, some with my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. And I loved that little piggy. She is so cute. Um, so she was puffy and she had to make it on there along with the bee. Like, it's just fun stuff. There's there's no rhyme or reason why um, any of that is on there other than it's fun and it's scrapbooking stuff. And we were at Creativation. So anything can go on a Creativation layout, I feel like. So I am going to top it off with some of the new Spiegel Mom scrap sequins. This is Melon Ball and the other one is Summer Splash because um, they have the perfect colors to go with that. I just use my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and then I attach it all with my Crystal Katana. So here are a couple of close-ups. So make sure you check down below and go visit Moira, Maggie, Sandy, JQ, Lisa on Instagram, Dolly, and Kathy and see what pins they use today. So that's going to do it. Remember to wear your crown and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.